Police say a group of thieves got more than they bargained for when a homeowner fought back. It happened this morning in Albuquerque's Northeast Heights. News 13's Candace Hopkins has the details. Candace. Alex, police say it was a terrifying sight. People inside this home saw three men in ski masks coming toward the property. And soon after the homeowner went outside, bullets started to fly. Neighbors say this area off Montgomery and Tramway is typically very peaceful. But this morning around 930, gunshots pierced that calm. I didn't know if it was on our street, but I knew it was close by. I wonder who got killed. APD says 911 calls started pouring in. They arrived to find a pool of blood sitting in this driveway. The homeowner described a scary scene, telling officers. I was in fear for my life. I was looking down the barrel of a gun. I thought I was going to die. It all started when the homeowner says he saw three people in ski masks approaching his home. Couldn't see their face, couldn't see their identity, couldn't see their hands. The homeowner says the group started to break into one of his cars. That's when he confronted them and the gun was shoved in his face. The homeowner pulled out his handgun and shot at the suspects, hitting at least one of them. A gun battle ensued and the suspects took off, but... Around 15 minutes later, a body was dumped in front of UNMH with multiple gunshot wounds and the other offenders fled. That suspect survived but isn't talking. APD is now looking for the two other suspects and says while this homeowner did what he thought was necessary... We never advocate that you take the law into your own hands. This could have been a whole different type of call. We could have had a homicide call up there. We always want you to call us first. Police say they have a description of the car used by the suspects to get away, but they have not released that information yet. Back to you, Alex. All right, Candace, thank you very much. No charges have been filed against the homeowner, but APD says the DA's office will be reviewing that case.